Hello friends, welcome back to Coding Casually and today what we'll do is we'll try to remove or we'll try to handle the missing values in a data set. So some people what happens is I've recently got some comments and recently got approached by people who want to know how they can remove some of the columns or sorry some of the rows where the data is not there and some of them have been asking me how we can handle the missing values if some things or some elements are missing. So what we're going to do is right now I've opened Jupyter Notebook on my system and I'll be using the Pandas library to solve this issue. So I already have a data set with me and that is the missing data set. If you want to see it, it looks like this and I have these columns with me. So what we'll do is we'll close this file and we'll try to open the same file in Jupyter Notebook and for that what we'll do is we'll import pandas as pt and data set equals to pt dot read csv and then we'll open up a bracket we'll say r and this is where we'll put the location of the file r is for raw location i don't want to put double forward slashes so what i'm doing here is i'm copying up the location of the file I'll paste it over here and put another slash and then press F2 and what I'm going to do is I'll write CSV. So now if we have to check the data set, we can simply press run. And as you can see that we have this data set and we have NAN. That means there was no value found in the data set. So how we can handle this? So there, there is one simple technique that you can uh, do right now is uh, first of all we'll remove this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 because you know it is forming a different column altogether we don't want to do it. This is not a column but we'll, we'll, we'll make sure that you know we understand the data from date only. So this would act as our index. So what we'll do is we'll say data set equals to um, or rather not equals to what we can do we can like set index and then we have to pass uh, the name of the column so the name of the column is date and we want to say in place equals to true so the moment we'll do this and uh, so this is in place yeah. what we'll do is in place and then what has happened is if we call out the data set again you'll see that we don't see that one two three four and all so in order to fill this thing what you can do is there's a very simple technique you can say now we'll form a different data set altogether and we'll say new data set and then we'll say data set dot fill any and we can say zero and now if you do this and if you call new data set you will see that everywhere we have zip so sometimes it would work if you have value oriented data so that means it would work on money earned it would work on uh, traveled kilometers but it would not work on job did. job did so he did so this person did a job on in garage and got 35 dollars traveled 25 kilometers but a person cannot work at zero so what we can do here is uh, in, instead of passing zero here what we can do here is uh, we can pass a dictionary into this and in that dictionary we can say that money earned can be money earned can be zero for sure and job did uh, can, be can be nothing, nothing. and then and we can then say we can, say we can simply, copy simply copy the column, the name, column from name from here and then say, and then say we can say zero back again so now if we run this we'll see that you know we have in, in the way the data was not there you'll see zero and in job did column we have nothing there's this is something that we wanted it to be so in order to be more explicit or try to fill the data which relates to the data set what we can do is 
we can simply remove this thing right or rather than what we can do is we can form the same onto different one and say new data set equals to data set dot dot fill and a but then we can define a method so there are many methods to it but we'll see f f fill and this is basically forward fill and in order to use this we can write f f here and then we can simply copy and paste it over here and then what you'll see here is i've written double f so what you'll see here is that so, so what actually pandas did it copied the value from the above and pasted it down so earlier you can see that you know on 17th we had zero but now we have 35 because what it did it carry forwarded the information which was there on the above row. same happened to everything so taxi was there and then it was nothing so garage became another garage and taxi was another taxi then sold ice cream and everything so now you have more relatable data you can still be okay to this instead of seeing zeros now you would have something but you can be you can also change uh, double f to backward fill as well and that is b fill so now what's going to happen is that you know we'll go into the last row and try to fill it up so through this uh, most of the time what you'll see that you know it's because it had no row because we had a uh, nothing part as well so that is the reason you would see that you know everything will not get filled either you have everything at the last row so that you know we can fill it up then backfill works well or uh, what you can do here is there's another method and that is uh, what you can do you can write you can just remove fill na and you can write interpolate and through this if you would see it would try to adjust the values and it would try to push them so right now this is only catering to money earned and where there was no data it tried to fit in the data because it is trying to pass it is trying to guess this path where 35 became 40 so somewhere in between you got this value so this can be done to different columns as well this is just basic knowledge of how you can handle the missing values in python and this will be counted in data science as well or data mining data mining in python this is the first part this is very basic when it comes to handling missing values you can learn a lot in this and just stick to the channel uh, please like the video please share it and please subscribe to the channel we'll have more videos coming in over this and we'll uh, try to explore the topic more thank you